Mr. Gary here from GVL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Out my garage today and I'm doing a couple of things. Uh, it seems like it's been forever since I fired up this old fashioned vintage Enterprise wood cook range. That's what I'm going to do today. That's what I'm going to do in uh, part one of this little mini series. I've got a part two and I'm going to share that with you in a few seconds. But I want to continue explaining what I'm going to do first. Um, I'm going to light this old fashioned Enterprise wood stove. I got all of the things that I need here on the oven door and I'm going to share that with you very very soon and also in part one I'm going to open up a couple of pieces of mail from a couple of YouTube channel friends of ours so that's in this video that's going to be part one part two is once this stove is all fired up all warmed up and hot enough we're going to be preparing a traditional Newfoundland meal it's a beautiful meal. It's an old fashioned, it's been around for many, many, many years. And I think I can do a pretty good job of it. So I'm gonna share that with you in part two. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet though. I'm gonna keep that a little bit of a secret. I'll tell you a little hint though. It involves beans. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of wind here later on today. I can tell you that. So let's get at it without any further ado. Get this old fashioned enterprise stove off and running and open that mail in part one. This is my old fashioned Enterprise wood cook range, folks. I've had this here in my garage now for four or five years. And Miss Betty and I, we use this from time to time. We come out here and we make meals on this. We boil the kettle and make coffee and we make tea out here. So we do lots with this old fashioned Enterprise wood stove. Now, uh, here at the oven door, I have everything I need to get this fire started. I have some old flyers here, and I have them twisted up so they'll last a little longer in the stove, long enough so that the kindling that I have there, or the splits we call them here locally in Newfoundland and Labrador, those splits or kindling, they'll get they'll, they'll light up and get this stove rolling. Uh, so here in the oven, I also have some larger wood. I have some black spruce there and a, and a couple of pieces of birch. So I'll be burning all of that and getting this stove all fired up and hot enough. Now, I'm not worried if I run out because I'm not likely to run out. I have some large containers there of a lot of wood left over from projects that I did this past summer and fall. And I'm gonna be burning a lot of that in this old fashioned stove. And of course, we're gonna open up a couple of pieces of mail. This one here from Gold Wing Moments, a friend of mine. Uh, on YouTube and also a, a Christmas card from a friend of mine too, uh, Carol from Plain Vanilla Grandma. So I'm gonna open up those two pieces of mail once I get this stove lit. So without any further ado, let's get at it folks. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take this uh, this uh, cover off the stove to reveal the uh, the firebox right there. The fireboxes on these old stoves folks, they're not, they're not very big at all. So I'm just gonna crumple up Couple up some old flyers, as I said, and throw them down in the bottom part of this uh, firebox. That's going to form like the little base. I've got a couple of long. I got a couple here all twisted up, so I'm going to hold on to those. Okay, couple up a few more pieces of flyer. And I've got some kindling here, as I said, so that's nice and dry. So I'm going to put that in the firebox. Some of it anyway, uh, until we get this stove crackling. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear the crackling sound, folks. And when we hear that, we're pretty confident that this stove is lit. So now, like I said, I got a couple here twisted up. I'm just going to twist it a little bit more, making sure that I got it all good and twist. I've got my seafarer matches and my long match. So I'm going to light the long one. So I'm going to be using this one and I'm gonna poke it in a couple of places in the fire box. Okay, so we have that long match lit. I'm gonna light this piece of curled up, twisted up flyer. And I'm gonna throw that down in there. And I'm also gonna to try to light a couple of places in the fire box using this long, long match. Okay, poke it in three or four places, Mr. Gary. Throw in another flyer. And we're going to put a little bit more kindling on top of that. I can hear the crackling already because 
because that wood is pretty, pretty dry. Now I'm gonna put the cover on. I'm gonna bring you over so you can have a look. Yeah, just take a quick look inside that firebox, folks. Okay, it's already lit, isn't it? So we're gonna put in some of the larger stuff that I have here now on this oven door. And there's still a few more pieces of kindling there. So I'll get that in there too. Some larger stuff. Now, okay, already nice. I can hear the crackling, so that's good. So she is certainly lit. Now, let's put the cover on. Come back in a few minutes. Hear the crackling? It certainly is all crackling away there. So we've got this lit now. So we're just going to make sure that it has a nice fire base there before we put in some of that larger stuff. Now, put that aside there, Mr. Gary. I'm gonna take, oh, that one fell on the, fell on the floor. So let me just take these birches out. These couple of pieces of birch and that, couple of, and that piece of black spruce there. This one that fell over here on the floor, let's pick that one up. So I'm certainly gonna be burning all of that. Plus a lot of this old scrap wood here from various projects that I did, as I said earlier this summer. Listen to the sound. Look at that crackling going on. So this fire is certainly, certainly firing up. That's real good. That's real good. That's what we want. So we're gonna let that burn for a little while. When we come back, we're gonna start putting in some of that larger stuff and some of that old wood hens over there. Now, I think it's time for we to put in one of those pieces of birch there. So we're gonna do that. But let's take a look inside the fire box again and see how the fire is doing. Okay, so it's burned down some. Let's just move uh, things around a little bit there, Mr. Gary. Okay, so it's all nice and burnt down a bit. Now, I think we can get that piece of birch in there. Okay, so let's get that in there. Okay. That in. Get in there. <laughs> okay, it's in. So it's in there. <laughs> hard, hard way. All right, so I got that in there. Now we're gonna let that burn a bit and we're gonna get at those two pieces of nail. A few days ago, folks, I've got a Christmas card in the mail from my friend, from my friend Carol, Carol Wallace. Carol Wallace lives in uh, Amarillo, Texas, and she sent this Christmas card. So I want to open that now. So I'm going to use my Swiss Army knife for that. It does have a pocket knife in it, in it along with lots of other little gadgets, screwdrivers and wine opener and, and all that kind of good stuff. So let's open this Christmas card from my friend Carol, and Carol's uh, YouTube station is, her channel, her YouTube channel, I should say not station, her YouTube channel is Plain Vanilla Grandma. And I'll put a link, I'll put a link in the description for this video, so you can go click on the link and subscribe to Carol's channel, just like that. Here we go. Let's take it out of the, uh, out of the envelope, lay the envelope down. Merry Christmas. I'll bring a little bit closer so you can have a look at it. And it says, Merry Christmas to your family, Carol Wallace, plain vanilla grandma. Have a look at the back. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful card from, from my friend Carol. And I want to tell you a little something. Carol made this, okay? This is not store-bought. This is and made by my beautiful, beautiful friend, Carol Wallace from Amarillo, Texas. There you go. A beautiful, beautiful Christmas card. I'm going to take that Christmas card. I'm going to put it up on top. Look at that. And I'll open it up and I'll show you what Okay. Also in this video, I received this letter now from a friend of mine also. Goldwing Moments is another YouTube friend of Miss Betty and Mr. Gary, and I'm gonna open this now and share the contents of this envelope with you as well. Gold Wing Moments is a very interesting YouTube channel. Uh, my friend has a, has a motorcycle, a Gold Wing, and he travels all around Canada and other places on his motorcycle. Now, moments he sent me along two two stickers two channel stickers 
I will value these very, very much. And I have a place for them. I want to share with you now the letter from my friend. It says, I, Gary and Betty, as you know, I was introduced to your channel in late 2023. Since that time, I have followed along and enjoyed your posted videos. Your content is always positive and I never know what exciting project you will begin next. It's always exciting, that's for sure. I have included a couple of stickers for you to add to your collection and I wish you all the best in 2024. Cheers, your friend, Larry Ryan, Gold Wing Moments. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that nice? I want to keep that also in my collection. Along with the swag, the two stickers, and I'm going to keep the envelope as well. And that's going in my collection. Folks, if you want to send along a letter, uh, some stickers to us, and Mr. Gary will always do, will always do a shout out just like this for you, so you can send that along to us. I always put our email address uh, in the description of every video and I also put our postage uh, address as well okay, in the description so go check that out if you want to send us along a card a note a postcard uh, a letter like this and some swag more than happy to receive it and do one of these shout outs for you and your channel and I will be reminding all of my subscribers we have nearly 2,500 now. I will remind them to check out your channel and go and subscribe. So beautiful, beautiful letter from my friend Larry Ryan from Gold Wig Moments and a beautiful, beautiful Christmas card from my friend Carol Wallace from Amarillo, Texas, Plain Vanilla Grandma. Check out those two channels. If you haven't subscribed, do so. The link will be in the description for this video. I'm going to sign out on this one now and in part two, which is coming right after this one, I'm going to share with you a traditional Newfoundland and Labrador meal that's been around for years, eons, I should say, and it involves beans, as I said earlier. So come back in part two and watch Mr. Gary prepare, prepare a beautiful traditional Newfoundland and Labrador meal. Those two pieces of mail, folks, one more time. Merry Christmas to your family, Carol Wallace, Plain Vanilla Grandma. Go check out her channel, folks. Go check out her channel and tell her that Mr. Gary sent you. Now, Gold Wing Moments from my friend Larry Ryan. Hey, go check out his channel as well and tell Larry that Mr. Gary sent you. Gold Wing Moments to YouTube friends of ours.